<laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is bernice everybody's big sister and this here's the hashtag sister squad to become a member subscribe get notified and make sure you don't leave that commenting because that's just what we do around here welcome to another vlog it is friday morning it is just a little after 8 a.m and i literally just got out of bed i was <clears throat> chilling in bed thinking about what i'm gonna have for breakfast and i was also just like scrolling through the internet looking for a certain service right so obviously some um, services or some businesses don't have these websites so they use facebook pages so i end up on this business's facebook page and i'm scrolling and i'm scrolling and then i find the information that i need so now facebook takes me to my facebook account which i haven't used in months to be quite honest i don't even have the facebook app on my phone i don't use facebook anymore um so now it takes me to my facebook and i'm scrolling and i'm scrolling and then i i come across these games you know those facebook games and i decide to play one and it's the one that tells you what you need and mine says you need to exercise and i was like you know what god if you want to speak to me through facebook it's cool if you want to drag me through facebook it's cool let's do this it's fine so literally i find my, i found myself feeling so guilty and so convicted and i literally got out of bed because i haven't worked out all week as i said last week i think it was last week's vlog or the week before that i wanted to get back to being active and healthy um i haven't worked out in a long time so i'm trying at least three times a week i should be moving my body so i texted nelly and i was like let's go for a walk and she totally mized me i think she's either asleep or she doesn't want to so i decided you know i'm gonna do a youtube workout so i found one 20 minutes long i'm lazy guys and i'm hungry so i just want to at least get some movement going on in my body it's a walking workout um perfect for indoor perfect for low impact activity which is what i'm looking for right now so i'll um, i'm about to do it now got my water don't think I'll be needing it because it's low impact. But I just like to drink some water first thing in the morning. Got my workout gear on. Okay, so let's start this workout because I'm hella hungry and I can't wait to eat. So yeah, stay tuned. Fire. workouts <laughs> they really get you moving hey they really do get you moving i feel like i'm so unfit and i keep betraying myself i think maybe i do need to go back to boot camp or something i just need to be, learn to be disciplined on my own because this thing of working out once a week is not on i'm supposed to get like 150 minutes of good um active time per week you know just to maintain a good body positive attitude to maintain a good weight you know so yeah but that was fun guys actually um it's a it's on grow with joe i don't know if i mentioned that um but it's on the 
playlist yeah it's a walk with joe so it's all the walking exercise you don't need to bend over a lot you don't need to get on the floor you don't need to do hardcore cardio it's just like low impact and it's actually quite fun i think i, I could do this every day i feel like i could do this every day anyway you know me later on i might be having a pizza <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast, but at this point, I don't have the patience to, like, actually make something. So, I might just end up having Cocoa Pops for breakfast. Um, but quickly, I just want to share a word, the word of the day. Like, the word as in God's word of the day. It's just really been on my heart. And it gave me such comfort ever since, like, I discovered it. It gave me such comfort. Let me read it for you guys. So, yeah, this is... Um, the word of the day okay this is my prayer journal by the way i have i have a lot of journals i have a lot of journals but right now i'm using two the gray one um i write my goals my visions my uh, my thoughts i write um i do write scripture in there as well just generally my ideas content ideas i write a lot of things there the word of the day and 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 but this is my prayer journal where i write um my prayers literally writing out my prayers writing out scriptures scriptures that i think are relevant for my life and scriptures that i want to declare for my life and over my life so this is i haven't it hasn't been long since i started as you can see it's only i've used up only a few pages but it's actually been so beneficial for me i feel like um it's so important to have a prayer journal and have maybe prayer points and even your prayers right written out because i was telling palisa the other day that sometimes i've actually started a ritual of waking up at midnight i don't always get to wake up because sometimes i'm just too sleepy but sometimes i'm like so sleepy and i don't even know what to say so it's just easier for me to lift up my prayer book and read out my prayers and then once i get into the motion of praying then that's when my my natural ability to pray comes forth right so anyway, the scripture of the day is even before they finish praying to me, I will answer their prayers. And it's from Isaiah 65 verse 24 in the Good News Translation. Like when I heard this scripture, I was like, whoa. So the minute I start to open up my mouth, God starts sending answers. God starts answering my prayers. God starts changing my life. And it's such a wonderful thing to know. Um, it even says in the book of Matthew, I think it's chapter 18, it says, um, even before we utter it with our mouth, God already knows what we're going to say because he knows us that well, right? But just the fact that he answers our prayers even before we say amen, that is such a privilege and it's such a blessing to us and it's such it's such a comforting thing to know that God answers our prayers, um, whether we see it or not, whether we see it now or we see it later, but he answers our prayers. And I felt like this is so relevant to write it in my prayer book because this is where I pray. And... The most important part about this verse, though, is that even before they finish praying, that means that God will answer once you start praying. Whether you finish or not doesn't matter, but you have to start praying. And I wrote the other day on Instagram that you make sure that you pray because the devil is not your friend, guys. The devil is roaring around looking for someone to devour. So make sure that your prayer life is on check. There are so many attacks over our lives. Some, some of them we don't even know about. God prevents them in the realm of the spirit. Some of them... You, you take so lightly, like, ah, a person can lure you, not with witchcraft per se, but like with their thoughts and their words. And if you're not prayed up, you're susceptible to their witchcraft and their evil thoughts and their evil words. So guys, even before you finish praying, God has answered your prayers, but you have to start praying. Anyway, it's a month from this ends. I eat breakfast. I think I'm going to have Cocoa Pops, you guys. At this point, I'm just too hungry for anything else. Then I'm going to bath and then I will catch up with you guys and tell you what I'm doing. I don't really have plans for today. I think let me just clean my room and I'll decide what else is to be done after that. Stay tuned. Fire. I found you
Guys, we are at Alveston Manor at Cafe Toast and instantly regretting it and it was my idea and I feel so bad because the service is zero we've been here for like 10 minutes nobody has come to even take a drink order from us um i'm aware that they're kind of busy there's something going on at the other restaurant but that doesn't mean that we should suffer like this like at least have one person come and give us a menu get for vibes okay here comes one person hello happy london everyone so yeah we just got menus Hopefully it wouldn't take it won't take that long to get the actual food out, which I'm actually stressed about. But it's such a nice breezy day. There's no noise, there's just the generator noise going on. But other than that, it's so nice and breezy. We're near a pool, so it's like nice and cool. Right, Mazagazaga? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just hungry. <laughs> she's just hungry yeah she wanted to go to the daily but we literally live at the daily i feel like every time we have breakfast it's at the daily it's about time to like go to other places i know we don't have a lot of options here in middleburg but you know what i hate monotony so yeah guys i'm just gonna uh, figure out what i'm gonna eat and let's eat hopefully today before lunch because it's like 11 and with the waiting period here, I'm worried. <laughs> got some drinks I wanted a smoothie actually we both wanted smoothies but because of load shedding apparently they can't make them for us so we had iced tea instead and we ended up um, ordering toasted sandwiches because we're just not willing to wait another hundred years for food so Hopefully the toasted sandwiches will be quicker. This lipstick always makes me look like mm, Puzagaku. Do you see that? When I get like a nude, my ring is in a hurry. I usually put like um, a nude here so that it blends. I can you put the time on a rewind? Help me understand, can you tell me now Why you made a war that was fighting now? Okay cafe toast is forgiven they brought us this cute little drink to say sorry for keeping you waiting Oh and it's nice friend mm. It's refreshing mm. Given. and our food is here and the chips are so well seasoned you want to taste the bread first and you fall and you run when you see my big guns run around run away as the rebel comes out then you go call on me when you fall I go and then you go again 
brunch guys just requested a ride and apparently it's a bmw 3 series you guys are bolting them at 3 series and imagine it i'm going to install my 3 series here cup you do what you can um it said it's here unless you like parking jump let's check the parking guys i'm off to the next location my sister Zanelle decided to work on a Saturday afternoon, so I'm leaving her. I'm gonna go join my sister, my big sister, and the kids at Amora Bird Park. They're chilling there, so that's where I'm gonna be spending the rest of my Saturday. So let's go. Now, everybody, go to breakfast. Shayo. Guys, I just got here and I couldn't even sit down. Boy was like, Popsy was like, let's go. Let's go see everything. He wants to show me everything. You want to show me everything? Say hi, guys. <laughs> What's that? Wait, wait, wait. Don't get close to it. It's a peacock. Say hi, peacock. And what's that? A bunny. There's so many bunnies here. He's really not scared of animals. But babies aren't scared of animals, are they? It's such a cute thing to see. You're fearless, aren't you? But he's so dirty. Oh my word, he's such a boy. Look at him. Also, he stopped breastfeeding and he's lost so much weight. Chickens. He's <laughs> chasing after the chicken. <laughs> you want them to share? Okay, that's enough. Yay, good job. Hi, Birdie. What are you? No. <laughs> this one looks like Justin Bieber. Back when he was singing, baby, baby, baby that hairdo, bro. Baby, baby. What is it? The golden pheasant. <gasps> oh my word, it's true. <laughs> 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 
Guys, I told this crow that I don't like it. And now it's acting like this. <laughs> I mean, that's please. It literally started screaming when I said I don't like it. Because apparently crows can remember faces and can hold grudges. So, yeah. Like, let's go. <laughs> He won't touch it. Oh, it's so nice. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the mall? Do you want to go to the shop? <laughs> We're in a fake car, or a stationary car. Beep beep. my sweeties it is now sunday sunday morning yesterday hung out with the kids and my sister and her husband at the bird park and then afterwards we we went back to their place and we chilled I just chilled with the kids, played with boy, talked to my sister. It was so nice to catch up with my sister. The kids were distracted, so we we were able to like you know just have a good big sister talk. It was nice. We ended up talking till so late that I had to sleep there because it was just like ridiculous for me to come home at that time. So I slept over. She just dropped me off this morning, and just in time to get ready for church, I showered there. So I just had to just change. So church i already chose luckily i already decided what i was gonna wear yesterday when i was looking for an outfit yesterday i bumped into this dress and i was like i haven't worn this dress to church in a minute so it's perfect doesn't need ironing doesn't need accessorizing just needs shoes okay i did put a belt i added a belt because it's a bit big Nana, so i like to have it cinched a little bit um around the waist so i'm just doing my edges so that I can look put together. Guys, why didn't y'all tell me if I had this hair for like forever now? Because <clears throat> I realized that yesterday, when Nelly was taking pictures of me, I'm like, Nelly, go ning so. Like, I've been looking like this. Why are all my pictures like this? And she's like, yeah, you actually, you've had this hair for long. I'm like, why didn't you say something? She's like, but it still looks decent. And I'm like, yeah, well, it does. But I never keep, ah, my word. Guys, I never keep hair for more than a month three weeks in any foot but with braids it's always an exception because braids do have much more longevity than the typical hairstyle so you can kind of get away with like having it for long but definitely monday tuesday and i'm getting this hair off i don't care i don't care i don't care it is time i want to look different yo <laughs> but my problem is like what do i do with my hair next you guys i literally have no idea i'm out of ideas even nancy Every time she does my hair, she's like, what are you going to do next? Because I feel like I've done it all when it comes to braids. Maybe I need to try those like faux locks type of hairstyles. If you guys know a good hair piece that I can try for like, you know, that um, faux lock, dready type of vibe. If you think it'll suit me, please let me know down in the comments which hair piece I can try. Because I think even Nancy was asking me which hair piece should we use for that. Because she feels like she could be able to do it. She hasn't done it before. But she's like an expert when it comes to hair. So I feel like she could definitely pull it off. But we just need to know which hair piece is worth trying it with. So maybe that will be my next hairdo we don't know or it will just be like a straight up is he thick because that's what i'm considering because i'm lazy to sit you guys i don't want to sit in the salon for like a hundred hours i really don't i'm getting so old you guys like a lot of things like a lot of things are starting to lose i'm starting to lose interest in like groove for instance when i went back i'm like yo I was Mora. <laughs> like seriously. When I see people, there's these girls. I'm not gonna name drop, but they like to groove. Ne? They act like groove from Friday to Sunday. And I'm like, guys, in my heart, obviously, because I can't tell people that. But I'm like, how do you guys do it? Where do you guys get the energy? 
but anyway each to his own guys each to his own i find myself being drawn to like spending time with kids and my family and just chilling you know but ideally if i had the money i would travel a whole lot i would travel so much you guys i would be in a different city every weekend i would go international trips that's the type of thing that i really find myself craving at this point in my life so if i had the funds that's definitely what i would be doing because i'm definitely over the typical groove and whatever but if it's still your time and you're still enjoying it then go ahead but for me but as for me i am done i am out I can't have fun after 9 p.m. I want to sleep. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that is me, you guys. I stopped wearing makeup to church, like, man, even, I think it's almost a year now. Because I literally realized the more that I grow as a person and the more connected I get to my faith in God, like, I just cannot stand praise and worship. I i bore like i cry during praise and worship so it's just not worth it putting makeup on because my mascara is gonna run my eyeliner is gonna run my foundation is gonna be tainted it's not worth it there are sundays where it's like a special sunday where i'm like okay today i'm gonna put on makeup but it's always like like the bare minimum my no makeup makeup look and even then i always come back with ruined makeup so i just feel like let me just go bare and be myself and cry as much as i want because you know one, one thing about crying at church some of us okay as we cry because we're connected to the holy spirit we can feel the presence of the holy spirit but we also cry in bulk for all your problems as well like it's such a nice place to cry because it's not no one's gonna judge you everyone's just gonna think oh, it's the holy spirit but i'm also crying because i'm heartbroken i'm also crying because i'm broke i'm also crying because my hairline doesn't want to grow back i'm also crying because i've gained so much weight i'm also crying because I wish I was in like a Bali right now. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, guys, let me finish my Cocoa Pops. Um, get to church. I'll see you after church. I think I want to hang out with my niece. Hanging out with my other nieces yesterday kind of made, made me miss my other niece. So I'm just checking. I texted her mom to check if she's available today. If she is, we'll see you guys later on when we hang out with a Piwi. <laughs> Shut the neck, you have Hey, like, got something going on here, bro. I don't see my ex. 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 I don't see my We have food on your chin. Oh, you put it there. It has a purpose. Did you enjoy your food? 
Did you enjoy your food? Guys, can I just say that I acted like I wanted to come to Spur for the child? But to be quite honest, I came here for this. A waffle. Now we eat ice cream and put it for the yellow salad. Auntie B's dessert. Apiwe's dessert. <laughs> My dessert. Auntie Ne. You're bad. Are you so late for my cream? Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. No, he says seven success. Are you going to cream and let's cut to seven? Hey. You have worked seven. Seven, no, we are tired. We are not allowed. Because I am. Can you have food at seven? Yes, yes. Eight, eight, eight. Cream, we are cheating. darlings it is night time i've been home for like something in my teeth i've been home for like 30 minutes got here like 30 minutes ago but it was load shedding so i couldn't um continue this video without my lighting um had a very wholesome sunday just had a very wholesome just a whole wholesome weekend all together like a different vibe as i said yesterday like I'm over the doof doof lifestyle, so it's just like nice to have like chill days with the kids, with family, with my best friends, Anele. Just having a good time. But I actually do miss my other friends. I miss hanging out with Buse. I miss hanging out with um, Balisa quite a bit. So I think next weekend we kind of have to make a plan to be together because it's long overdue now. The last time we hung out properly was like Women's Day, and that's literally a month ago. That is not on. But otherwise had a very wholesome day actually it's so nice and so th i find it so therapeutic to hang out with kids and play with them and get to their level and humor them 
um it gets exhausting i have like a very short lifespan of that but i try to do it with all my kids and i just find it so like it's such a carefree thing to do and i love it so much i think i suspect that i might be ready to become a mom like i suspect that emotionally i feel ready to become a mom but pocketically financially i'm not okay guys spur first of all is expenses oh mg it is so expensive i was like guys when the bulky i was like okay this is expensive but also kind of like we're used to like nelly and i go out a lot together and we're used to splitting the bill so now we're here with this other third person who didn't even bring a cent to the table and was busy ordering ribs and dessert and it's like sis pull your weight this is why you don't have any friends <laughs> i'm kidding guys but you are spur is expensive guys i think because I know I go out a lot, right? But I'm very, very, really good at budgeting and really, really good at sticking to a low, like, amount of money. But it's really hard to do it, Spur. It's kind of really hard to do. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because there was a third person who wasn't paying for their, like, half of the bill, so. Anyway, it's totally worth it. Anything for my kids. Anything for my kids. We ended up actually going to my sister's house to hang out again because up here hasn't seen her cousins in a minute so i wanted them to have a reunion yana. and we did that and they drove us home about three minutes ago as i said so yeah guys i think i'm gonna conclude this vlog right here i hope it was wholesome i hope you enjoyed it um i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow get my hair unplatted um get a wax i still haven't gotten my armpits waxed if you could see them it is the absolute ghetto and whatever else happens just my regular daily life i will take you guys along with me anyway that is it for from me right now i'm just gonna watch a sermon a td jakes sermon i'm really 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 enjoying td jakes these days i've always loved td jakes but these days he's just on fire He's like on fire. You guys have to watch Intentional Floods by T.D. Jakes. It is such a good sermon. Oh my word, life changing. So I'm going to watch uh, probably today's sermon because they usually um, have uploaded by now or have streamed by now. I'm going to watch that and chill and start editing this vlog after the sermon. I've got my editing glasses right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that i hope you enjoyed the vlog you guys i love you so much i hope that you subscribed if you're new don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up i love you sister squad see you in the next one